the total solution to a long time problem. Carpet shims and universal side shims are designed to make the raise easy. For years, carpet installers have had a major problem and carpet shims has solved it. Everyone likes the look of beautiful hardwood or ceramic tile floors in a home or office. However, the installation of carpet next to these surfaces has been very difficult because of the difference in the height of the carpet and the hard surfaces. Until now, carpet installers have had to use a multitude of remedies to solve this problem. They include double tack strips next to the raised surface, which looks bad in just a few short months. A ramp can be built out of materials such as float compound, but it may break over time and it is very time consuming. Then there's the cardboard buildup that will break down over time. Shake shingles have been used, but locating them, sorting them out, and nailing them down is very time consuming and not the easiest solution for the job. Along with these methods of making transitions, carpet installers have been very creative over the years and have used numerous materials of which are best left untold. Now with carpet shims and universal side shims, the installation is made easy. The specifically designed carpet shim and universal side shims give the carpet a gradual raise so that it joins the hardwood or ceramic floor effortlessly to make a beautiful finished edge. The carpet shims and universal side shims are a carpet installer's dream come true and they are fast, easy and economical to use. Also, an independent research lab has revealed that carpet shims and universal side shims are water resistant. Let us show you how simple and versatile carpet shims and universal side shims are to install. Our first installation will be next to a half inch backer board with a quarter inch ceramic tile, which creates a three quarter inch height difference. Most doorways are 32 inches wide, as this one is. The easiest, fastest, and most economical way to make the necessary transition in this doorway is with a carpet shim. Carpet shims are available in various sizes, and for this installation, we will be using a 3 8 inch by 8 inch by 32 inch carpet shim, which eliminates any waste. This particular carpet shim tapered out over 8 inches and is 32 inches long. We simply position the carpet shim in the doorway with the smooth side up, leaving a gap wide enough to accommodate the thickness of the carpet. We nail it down using one and a half inch ring shank nails spaced approximately six inches apart across the center of the carpet shim. Once we have the carpet shim nailed down, you have a drop off on each side of the carpet shim. To remedy this situation, we will be using Carpet Shim's Universal Side Shim, which tapers in both directions. The name Universal Side Shim means it's universal, and therefore can be installed at both sides of the carpet shim, which eliminates our drop-off and completes the transition. In this installation, where the carpet shim is recessed into the doorway about an inch and a half, the Universal Side Shim will need to be trimmed. Position a straight edge on the universal side shim where it needs to be cut and score it three or four times with a carpet knife and snap it off. Now we nail it down using the recommended four inch and a half ring shank nails. The same situation occurs on the other side, where we simply trim and install another universal side shim. At this point, your installation is ready for the tack strip. Install the tack strip on the top of the carpet shim, maintaining the same gap. This doorway is now ready for the pad and carpet to be installed as normal. It's that quick. It's that easy, and carpet shims and universal side shims are economical to use. In our next installation, we have a four-foot opening where we will be installing our carpet next to a three-quarter inch hardwood floor. We will be using a three-eighths inch by 12 inch by 48 inch carpet shim. This carpet shim tapers out over 12 inches.
The first step is to position the carpet shim in the doorway, leaving a gap according to the thickness of your carpet, and nail it down using inch and a half ring shank nails spaced approximately six inches apart across the center of the carpet shim. If this were a concrete floor, the carpet shim would be glued down using a good contact cement of your choice. On each side of the carpet shim, we have a drop-off which we want to eliminate. In this situation, we will use carpet shim's 3 8 inch by 12 inch universal side shim. Since the universal side shim tapers in both directions, we will be using one on each side of the carpet shim to complete our installation. We simply put it in place and nail it down with four inch and a half ring shank nails and repeat the procedure on the other side of the carpet shim. Once the carpet shim and universal side shims are installed, we install the tack strip on the top of the carpet shim, maintaining the same gap. This doorway is now ready for padded carpet. It's that quick, it's that simple, and carpet shims and universal side shims are economical to use. Our next installation is around a fireplace hearth. Here, we are installing next to a half-inch backer board and a half-inch ceramic tile. We are using a half-inch by 8-inch by 32-inch carpet shim that tapers down over 8 inches. We position the carpet shim, leaving a gap according to the thickness of your carpet, and nail it down using inch and a half ring shank nails spaced approximately 6 inches apart across the center of the carpet shim. Since this hearth, as most are, is longer than 32 inches, we need to add an additional piece of carpet shim to reach the end of the tiled area. Using our carpet knife, we score the carpet shim three or four times at the correct length and snap it off. We position it and nail it down. To finish this side, get the measurement. Score the carpet shim three or four times, snap it off to the length, position it, and nail it down. Outside corners have always been difficult to finish properly. But with the universal side shim, it is easy. We place it and nail it down on all four corners using our ring shank nails. To finish this side, get the measurement. Score the carpet shim three or four times, snap it off to the length, position it, and nail it down. Here again on this corner, we use another universal side shim, position it in place, and nail it down. Now we install the tack strip on top of the carpet shim, maintaining the same gap. That's the installation around a fireplace. It's ready for pad and carpet. It's that fast, it's that easy, and carpet shims and universal side shims are economical to use. Now that we have the carpet shims, universal side shims, tack strip, pad and carpet in place, we are ready to tuck the carpet in.
we are getting about three quarters inch of carpet tucked in to the gap for secure installation. Make sure the carpet is tucked in. And there is our nice finish, which brought the carpet right up to the level of the tile. Now we need to tuck the carpet in next to our hardwood floor. Once again, we have created another beautifully finished transition. To complete this room, we are tucking the carpet in around the ceramic hearth, again tucking about three quarters of an inch of carpet into the gap for a secure and beautifully finished carpet installation. Not only are carpet shims and universal side shims quick, easy, and economical to use, everyone loves the smooth transition when they stand, walk across, or vacuum the carpet next to hard surface floors. The carpet shims have eliminated the trip points and areas that get damaged from vacuum cleaners, bumping the ceramic tile, or hardwood. Notice how smooth the vacuum runs across the transition? A job well done.